This is a great place to fish for trout, and Game and Fish keeps it stocked on a regular basis. This is a perfect lake for a small boat or a canoe, but you can have motors up to 10 horsepower if you don't care to paddle. A small campground at Water's Edge has 18 spaces, and you don't need a reservation to stay there. While you're there, keep an eye out for this guy, the Osprey. He knows where to find the fish. This one flew right over my head with a big trout in his claws. Now, Kinnikinick Lake gets its name from a type of plant native to the area, rumored to have strong medicinal powers. Even in late summer, I found plenty of beautiful flowers lining the shore. Another common sight was this bird, the blue heron. They are very graceful in flight with their large wingspan, and their long legs enable them to land in marshy areas to search for food. Ah, it's easy to lose track of time in a place like this, but keep your eye on the horizon and your ears open. Summer thunderstorms can move in fast. Most days they are gone as quick as they arrive, however, and you'll be back on the water before your fishing gear even has a chance to dry out. Now remember, to fish at most lakes in Arizona, you're going to need a fishing license. You can get one at any Arizona Game and Fish office or check out our website at azgfd.gov. I'll see you at the lake.